several times, and it is Billy Badass Machete. Like, it is freaking awesome. It's got a razor-sharp edge on it. It's a little dull right here at the curve. Right there, it's a little dull, but the stone will take that and, and you know, sharpen it right up. But the rest of it is, is really razor sharp. It's super sharp. Nice and thick, as you can see. I don't know how many millimeters, but it's it's got a good thickness. I'd say probably about almost a quarter inch. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> maybe not a quarter inch. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But um, Really good. It's got a saw in the back, obviously, and it's excellent. I've used it dozens of times, and it's probably the best, one of the best blades I've ever used. I mean, I'm talking, I've learned too out of personal experience, hang on a second. I've learned too out of personal experience, um, the machete is way, way better than a hatchet. Um, I've tried hatchets, axes, saws of all sizes. Um, the machete is the way to go if you plan on doing any bushcrafting or going out doing any type of uh, survivaling. Um, then I definitely recommend you bring a machete, not a hatchet. Um, I was, you know, I, I there's a book out there. It's called The Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Um, my favorite book ever. You know, I read it in seventh grade uh, English class. It was an epic book. Got me into you know outdoors really pretty much and. Uh, I love the hatchet. I was always, you know, lived and swore by the hatchet. Love the hatchets. Hatchets, hatchets, hatchets. Always had one, you know. And uh, machete here outperforms a hatchet in every shape and form that you could think. Every every job you can imagine, the machete does better. Um, anywho, enough about that. This. Let's see if I can get it open. Yeah, my folding saw. Nice little folding saw. It's got a little lock release, which is very difficult to operate. Um, pretty good lock. Um, about 20 bucks. Local hardware store. Nice nice for little branches. It's got a good good blade on it. Tested it out. It's pretty sharp. Cuts pretty well. Black steel. Um, good stuff. I like it. trying to unlock it now. There we go. It's got a good lock. I don't have to worry about it not lock, you know, not locking. All right, and then the good stuff here. Aha. These are just uh, extra card and a bit that goes on my solar panels. Now, the solar panels, these are great. Solio, they open up and... <clears throat> These, this will charge your cell phone, your smartphone, like 100%, no problem. Um, and then give you a little bit of charge left over. I bought them about, shit, eight years ago, before all the modern technology. So these were like, you know, state-of-the-art, high-quality, like super expensive, awesome things. But nowadays, they're, you know, low-end because it's lower technology compared to what's out now. But still, excellent, excellent item. Um, it performs amazing. Um, I can charge it. I can charge it with a USB output of some sort, you know what I mean? So, like, if I had, like, a, you know, crank device to crank it, I could charge this with the crank device on top of the solar power, which is amazing. Um, and it just so happens I do have a crank device. Ha, -ha. Um, This is a NOAA weather radio. And it uh, runs off of the, I don't know if you know what the NOAA weather radio is. I'm, um, I'm not 100% certain what it is. All I know is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, a computer voice will tell you your local weather anytime. And every like everything about the weather. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, then, it, this used to have a crank on it. But, unfortunately, a lot of crank items, most items that you buy that are like crank radios, um, you got to make sure you get a good, high quality, pay the extra dollar, and get the expensive kind. You know, make sure you get some sort of warranty with it, too, because a lot of the times, the cranks break on these things. Um, I've had dozens of crank devices in the past. 
All right, I lied, not dozens, but I've had several crank devices in the past, and the only one to not break on me so far is this bad boy. Um, the only reason I have this is because I can charge it off of the solar panels as well, so that way it's still useful, and it's NOAA weather, so, you know, it's pretty handy to know the weather wherever you are, especially if you're out in the bush, you know. Um, this is a crank flashlight, and the greatest thing about this, it opens up, and I can hook stuff up to it and charge it via car, cigarette, you know, cigarette lighter out port or a USB port. So that's cool. That, that, and that's a crank. So I can just crank it up, charge it up. Whee! That's a Duracell. Like I said, pay the extra. This is like 30, 40 bucks or something. It's ridiculous. It's only got one little LED light in it too, but it's it's amazing. It works. It does the job. And then for music, this is just my MP3 player, little button MP3 player. It's got like 500 songs on there. Um, this hooks up to it. Stick it in here like so. All right, and that's how it charges. So this again can either be charged off of the crank or the solar panel so that's the greatest thing about this too this little setup I got here is everything here can be charged off of the solar panel or the crank except my night vision camera it's got a waterproof case so I can go underwater with it um, but uh, it's a night vision camera it's pretty neat pretty nifty red lights come out of there and I can see nighttime works it's a cheap little thing but it works I got it online for like a hundred bucks and it, it works very well um, especially with the night the red headlamp that I have giving off the red light that gives more red light so that lets this work a whole lot better um, and those are and then I have electric shavers which I'm just gonna throw in the bag because I'm using them right now but those also charge off of USB believe it or not and that way I can shave <laughs> So I can charge that off of this or this. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is the only thing running on batteries. So this and my lighting, most of my lighting systems all run off of batteries. Um, but with what I plan on doing, I'm not going to need many batteries. This is going to be my main battery source, you know, problem right here. I might run out of batteries for filming. 